everybody and welcome back to Lily Georgia. Welcome if you're new, I'm very happy to have you. Today we're going to be doing a kind of a whole 12 seconds later about what the significance is and why it happened in my life and memories that I have associated with them. So I'm going to start off with my most favourite fragrance. This is a fragrance that I have been wearing for a long time every day. This is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Seduction. It's actually a really beautiful scent. I really like it. I got this Valentine's Day of this year for myself because I'm an independent woman and I don't need a man, so. Unless that man, said man, said man, actually is a man that sweeps me off my feet. I'm not interested. Secret Bombshell Seduction everyone. This is a scent that I definitely recommend to absolutely everyone. It's beautiful. Let me do a little close up of it. So it's a little bottle like this. You can also get a full size. I believe the full size is $78 and this one is $58, but it's actually so beautiful and it smells really good. Oh, I can smell like this all day, which I do because I use it every day. So that's amazing. I love the little ribbon. The little ribbon is so cute. And I like to actually pair this with a spray and I get so many compliments on this from so many people in LA when I'm walking across the street. I like to combine Victoria's Secret Bombshell Seduction and I like to combine it with Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Fragrance Mist Spray. Oh this reminds me of school. Oh my god, I used to go to drama school you guys in London and this reminds me of that. I would w walk into the changing room, right, where all the lock lockers, lockers, where all the lockers were and everything. I used to walk into the girls' changing room at acting school, and I would wear this scent, and all the girls would come up to me and be like, "Yo, what is that? Can I please have some of that?" And literally every day, I'd be like, "You know, the girls coming up to me being like, what is this? I need this.'" And I was like, "Yes, you do. It is this scent. You need to buy it now." It was so good when you put these together because you'll thank me later, girl. Since I was younger, this is the Chance by Chanel. Excellent, but you know Chance by Chanel. Ooh, this is a really good scent, and I I do value this very highly. Um, I got this when I was younger. I used to wear this out and about. It's really nice still. I really like this fragrance. Very fresh, useful fragrance. It just reminds me of being at home in London. It reminds me of that whole that whole lifestyle when I was there. Yeah, I used to wear this a lot. <laughs> so that's Sean's question here. Um, and then we have Ellie Saab. A lot of these perfumes I had when I was in London when I was younger growing up. So a lot of them are gonna be memories of childhood. This is another memory from childhood. I used to wear this to all of the house parties that I went to when I was younger. This is Ellie Saab, the Ellie Saab perfume. Oh, it takes me right back to getting ready in my, in my room. That's crazy. Wow. It's insane. That is really cool. <laughs> Wow, that trip that down memory lane. I got this a couple Christmases ago, and this is MAC Creme de Nude. Now there's the lipstick Creme de Nude, which I use a lot, but this is also the fragrance, so. It's very vanilla-y. If you like sweet vanilla scents, then Creme de Nude I recommend. It smells really good now. Well, I used to be a really, really big believer, which is like a fan girl of Justin Bieber. I was I thought I was gonna marry that man. Like I had it set in my head. I was like, I'm gonna marry this man. I'm gonna have a future with him. Like, and I was what, 15? And he was like so much older than me. And I was like, wait, what? What 15 year old is gonna marry Justin Bieber? I don't think it's me. 
Um, but it was to Justin Bieber at my friend's house and we just dance around and like sing to fall and all of those songs and I was just like, we used to literally sing every single album. I have my favorite little moments on his songs. This is Someday by Justin Bieber. This was the shit in my school. This was the shit. Every girl had this and Girl, I thought it was so cool walking into school with my Someday by Justin Bieber. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my God, I'm sure you've seen it. <laughs> this is so reminiscent of my school years. Oh my gosh. That takes me back. Oh my God, is it so possible to smell a fragrance and literally be hit with all these memories? You're joking me. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy, that's so insane. Wow. Wow. I went to an all girls school. There was a lot of drama. Whew, there was so much drama. But you know, I wouldn't change it for the world or train it for the world. I actually had one of the best, some of the best memories in that school, guys. That school. I wish sometimes I can go back to those days and be in that school and be with my favorite teachers because it was so fun. Like building memories with these people. We went to team building exercises. We did, you know, really fun history classes. We did the best classes ever. I had all of my starring roles at that school in the drama department. I was thriving there and, you know, I'm still thriving in life now, but I just wish some days I could just travel back in time and go to that school and just relive some of those memories because it was actually really fun. And some of the girls that I met there, I still talk to now, they're friends for life. I love you guys if you're watching. Um, but yeah, the school defined me. It really did shape who I was, so I'm grateful to that school. So that is crazy how this perfume can just take you right back. Like, what? Is the Machino Pink Bouquet. I got this on vacation one time, and it's just, I really like sweet scents. I'm a sucker for a sweet scent, so, you know, anything to do with like vanilla, floral, fresh, sweet things, I love. Jasmine and lavender too. Lavender is my favorite thing in the world. My perfume, like all of the sweet floral scents I leave for summer, and then I have more of like the sultry, like different scents for fall, but, this is really nice. This smells like a festival or like a music festival. I don't know why. It just smells very like girly. I really like the scent. Wow. I should start wearing this more. This is a fragrance that I got for Christmas and this is the Tiffany, the Tiffany scent. Ooh, that's the bottle. It's a really nice bottle. It smells very nice and it smells um, Christmassy in fall, so I'm gonna leave this out for this season because it actually smells really good. It's really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my last two perfumes, which you already know. All of y'all know which ones these are. I do use these and I do love the way that they smell. So I'm gonna start off <laughs> with the Wake Heart scent, the Grace and Dolan Wake Heart scent because it's iconic and it smells amazing and it smells like the beach and oh, you know I love the beach so yep oh yep smell this one all day all, all day long the last one is another wake heart one this is lucid locations I already reviewed this on my channel and I'll link that video down below if you want to see it but I love jasmine so much and this has a lot a whole lot of jasmine in it and it's just so iconic and i like the purple because that's kind of like remind reminiscent of like the old days of their content i really like this i just kissed the fucking i did not mean to do that i'm not meant to get lipstick on my packaging girl 
have, I'm going to go into body lotions and body mists now. So I'm going to start with body mist just because it's a very prevalent area of my life. I love body mists. I already spoke about this one, but this is the Pure Seduction. I highly recommend this one. And then I'm going to go on to another one that my best friend got me for Christmas. I love you by the way. She lives in London and I haven't seen her in a long time. But I know and have faith that God will bring us so we can reunite one day. After, you know, all of the stuff in the world is not going on anymore. So, this is Victoria's Secret Gold Struck. And this is Citrus Gem Passion Fruit and Guilty Rush. Guilty? Yeah, guilty rush, okay. And this smells like passion fruit and it's just, oh, it's, it's the fragrance that I never knew that I needed, but I love. I don't really have anything to do, like any scent like passion fruit before, but it's really good. It just works together so well. And I'm, I am using this as a summer scent, it's really nice. Um, so thank you for getting me this. I love you, you know who you are. And then she also got me a matching body cream in the same scent and packaging. Let's just talk about packaging, guys. It is stunning. This is some stunning packaging right here. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm being like extra today, but that's, I think it's because I'm reminiscing. Like I'm going back down on memory lane. I'm going back to who Lily Georgia was from the core. I'm going back to, you know, the person that I grew up to be, like, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of all these memories now that I went through. I used to watch my absolute favourite show, which is Desperate Housewives. I still watch it to this day, guys. If you haven't seen it, it's on Hulu. Go ahead and watch it. I highly recommend it. But I used to sit in my room and eat my little popcorn with my soda, and I used to watch Desperate Housewives. And you know, I didn't really want to go out. I, I went out, you know, to parties and like coffee shops and stuff, but I didn't go out as much as my other friends did um, that were surrounding me. But I always used to just sit in my room and just watch Desperate Housewives with my popcorn and, um, you know, all these movies and play The Sims 3. I really want The Sims 3 back. I'm so sad that they can't play it anymore, but I hope one day, you know, that they can do it. But it's just crazy to think about your life, about what it was years ago you know growing up what it was like and it's insane that now you know it's 2020 i'm 22 years old and there's still so much i want to achieve in my life but i'm proud of the person i am today and the woman that i've become and the challenges that i have overcome bars okay that was bars i like that but yeah um always be proud of what you've achieved even if you haven't achieved what you want yet you gotta stay patient on that faith and on that grind and you're gonna get those things and God will bring them to you. Whatever you want, you have to put it before God. And if it's gonna happen, then you'll, you'll see an indication to it. But always be proud of yourself, guys, and always stay motivated on every grind that you enter. But yeah, on a long tangent, this is the Victoria's Secret Gold Struck body lotion and it's actually the same scent as the mist and it smells real good. <laughs> really nice but I'm gonna keep it as a summer scent because you know I like to switch things out and we're gonna go on to the next round of body lotions now so oh. and then last but not least this is another mist but it's a shimmer mist and this is from Bath and Body Works this is you already know marshmallow pumpkin latte guys and this actually is a glittery scent. I already included this in my haul, but I'm gonna put it in this haul too. Because it's body mist, so you know. Okay. Oh, I can't stretch this far, guys. My god. Okay, pretty. Iconic. So this smells real good, and it actually makes your, what's it called? Collarbone. Makes your col collarbone glittery, you know, your chest area glittery. And I really am a sucker for, you know, you, you doled up and everything and you go out, you know, before all this stuff happened, but you go out and I really like to make my collarbone shimmery and just like very glowy. I just love that. That's my favorite thing to do. And now we're gonna go on to the body lotions for what I have. 
And we're now just gonna go on to the body lotion. So I do have the Bath and Body Works Marshmallow and Pumpkin Latte. <sighs> Smells amazing. Oh, it takes me back to school last year. Oh, I love you. Marshmallow and Pumpkin Latte. This is my favorite scent of Bath and Body Works. If anyone was to, to go to Bath and Body Works, This thing right here is my favorite scent ever. I don't know why I'm getting really like aggressive. Calm down, Lady Jordan. You get so aggressive when you're down. What am I doing, man? Right, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Body Lotion. I love it so much. It smells amazing. And it actually stays on really, really super long. If I had a shower this morning and I put it on, it would be still smelling like it tonight when I hit the sheets. <laughs> to that when I go to bed anyway and then I have a matching scent to the pure stuff lotion to the bombshell seduction by Victoria's Secret and this is the body lotion and I got this for free on Valentine's Day because I got a sale so that's what that looks like it actually smells really good and I haven't used it yet so I'm going to start to use this I think I can use this for fall because this is a full scent too. It's kind of like reminds fall to me. Reminds fall, reminds me of fall. So I have a really nice summer body lotion and this is from Victoria's Secret. Everything's from like Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret. I love it. Bath and Body Works, Bahamas, Bahamas? Yeah, Bahamas. Passion fruit and banana flower. So good. And this packaging, you guys, let's talk about it. It's so stunning. It's just so beautiful. The palm trees, tropical, flowers, sunset, just everything to me. And I did use this a heck of a lot this summer and it just, it smells so good and it lingers. It lingers, which is the best thing. So like, if you, you know, have a significant other, you can go to their house smelling like this and they'd be like, what is that smell? And it doesn't have to be a significant other. It can be a friend, it can be anything, but you're gonna get a lot of compliments on this because it smells really good. So like, <sighs> and scents and body lotions and mists and cleaning. Like I'm crazy. I already know this. Like you don't need to tell me in the comments down below. I already know this. So like, I already come to terms with this. I already face this reality. So of this haul is going to be from Soap and Glory, and I got this a long time ago, but it still does the job. And I use this when I'm going out, when I am getting ready for a night out. So this is the Righteous Butter. This butter, and it's really good. Little old fashioned, you know, old fashioned lady on there, like old fashioned, like 50s things. So that's like very vintage. I think this brand is, um, it's been around for a while, but they like to focus on vintage stuff, which I like. So, Soap and Glory is a body brand, I think they have it here in the US, but they have it pro uh, predominantly in the UK at a place called Superdrug Boots anywhere online, which is like your CVS and all of that. So they have that there. Um, but this smells really good. Absolutely reminds me of my childhood. I used to use this every day when I went to school. Oh, it's just very, very reminiscent today. It's a reminiscent day of, you know, my past and my life and everything, which I think is cool. Travel. I've had a tricky time trying to reminisce on things. So I'm glad that I'm in a better place than I was. So yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video today, taking the time out. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my face. Thank you. <laughs> I love you so much guys, and I will see you in the next video, which will be a clean and decorate with me for fall 2020, honey. I am so excited. I'm not gonna wait till the 22nd. I'm really sorry, but it's coming this Friday. But I have a lot of things planned for this fall season of con in terms of talk. I have a lot of things planned, so I hope that you enjoy it. And love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, my love.